Water. Earth. Fire. Air. What's poppin' everybody? It's your boy Snowy Kurama, and we are here for episode number 19 of our Pokemon Black Randomized Avatar Lock. The last episode we got our gym badge, Battle Bianca, got a, uh, messed up on our encounter. And today, we are about to start with our new encounter, see what the fuck Clay wants up on, uh, on Route 6 Cave, and yada yada yada. So if you guys are uh, excited for this new episode, hit that like if you want, of course. Hit that subscribe, and our team didn't really change at all so here it is i mean you see on the layout but there are the levels i did go explore inside of the um the what's it called the little mart thing that we didn't go inside of i picked up three dozen moo moo milks a dude said to show him a pokemon level 30 or more and so from that, I picked up an expert belt. Might give that to somebody else. And in the back of her store, I found myself... Where is it? An aguave berry. So all that's pretty cool. I probably won't be using any of those berries until I figure out what it is. Um, you know, the natures are used for. I don't have those memorized. But anyway, let's try to get our Route 6 encounter the right way. What we got in this here area? Sunflora. Thankfully, that's a grass type and it does not match up our our things that we're doing. What we got here? Starly. Again, does not match us up. We might just but until we find something that we can use. Grumpig can't use that. Cannot use the Grumpig. Electric, Dark, Dragon, and Pure Normal. Those are the Pokemon types we have to choose from. Grumpig again, Jesus Christ. Grumpig again, holy shit. I must we skip it for now and see what we can get in a double battle grass. That is the play. Chin Chow, we already have a, la uh, a lantern on our team, so this is dupes. Bye bye. What you got, boy? It might be time to start battling some trainers, considering that Clay had a level 34 on his squad. I can only imagine that Skyla will have 39s. See, this dude does a level 30 himself, so... Gym... not gym, but trainer battling is going to be essential. I'm gonna use X Defend, and I'm just gonna use Dragon Rage the whole time. Stupid idiot. Their Bravo would be pretty cool. We'd have a ground type. I'll, uh, yeah, we'd have a ground type. So would Garchomp. Garchomp would be nice. No, I don't think we get a Deerling in this game. I think the Deerling sample we get in a different in the uh, the sequel. But just in case they give us a Deerling, and we can't. And whatever the dearling is, we can't use. Then we have to come to this route in order to. We can use it as a token for this route. Damn, why, why can't I speak? Which kind of sucks considering what we're grabbing. Like, there's, there's nothing Fire Nation y here except for the mill tank. <laughs> and once I catch the mill tank, then. You know, another mill tank is pointless. So. That is, that's, that's what's happening there. Bugcatcher Liliana sends out an Electrode. Please don't use Explosion. 
I think it does get explosion at this level, so I might want to switch out to something I can... Uh, you know, my most physically beefy Pokémon, which isn't this thing. It is indeed Woof. Which is really cool, because it also has Intimidate to lower this thing's attack stat. So hopefully a big boomy is affected by all that and won't kill me. Be nice. Light screen. You think we're gonna use some special attacks? I mean, it did have a dragon air out, which gets like flamethrower and hydro pump and whatnot. But that's not the case. Screech. That's bad, but that's good. <laughs> Missing is very good. How about you just miss the rest of your attacks? Oh no. I think I should have just kept using Crunch. We're almost up to full still anyway. Charge Beam. Thank you for not doing what I was thinking you were gonna do. Much appreciated. Special attack went up, which kinda sucks for me. And bye bye Hope to never see you again. Not even fucking around when I say that. <laughs> Level 34 for a woofy boy, that's just nice. A uh, girl. Keep, keep doing that. A Zelf, I feel like we gotta stay in. This is another thing that could explode. It probably won't. Crunch here. In prison, you think I have any psychic moves? Stupid. Thing's not bulky at all, so of course to hit KO is... It's not what I wanted, but I mean, I'll take it. Confusion, alright. Oh. Can, and it confuses me. I'm Parafusion. This is great. Fun. Freaking fantastic. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Do not do not do not do that. First Moo Moo Milk used. Probably could use it to Super Potion, considering that would have put us up at 102. But we're full now, so that's, that's nice. Ugh, confusion again. Could you stop it? Okay, just stop that crap. Confusion? Okay. As long as I'm not confused. That's... Alright, that's cool. Get out of here. Get out of here with your legendary. Flexing on us all. Bugcatcher Riviana. Oh, gives me a berry. That's cool. Cherry berry. Could have totally used that la Well, I could use that here, too. Because I'm confused, not confused. I'm, uh. Well, I'm always confused, but I'm paralyzed. And bam. Used my last and my first cherry berry. How poetic. And a super potion fixes up Wolf right the fuck up. And away we go. Eh, maybe I should talk to her. We're on this route. We'll see if we get our encounter here. We probably will, I mean, we're nine minutes in. Tortuga. How many Dragon Rage does this thing have left? That might as well be the only move we have on this thing. <laughs> we don't use anything else. It's just safe. It's the safest option. You got crunch already? Holy shit. And get out of here, bitch. Venipede. I think I'm gonna go ahead and switch. Big boy wants to take care of his Venipede. I think I'm gonna do some research on where the move deleter is here. Because if we can get access to that, then we can get Big Boy a better move than Cut. Which, I mean, we could get rid of Yawn or Defense Girl, but I don't want to do that. Yawn's still useful. Unless this thing gets him no Well, Yawn is, like, guaranteed next turn sleep. That might be better. Uh, Defense Girl's nice, because this thing's defense stat is actually not that great. It looks for coverage, and then we just have Cut, which is Stab. That was its best move for a while. <laughs> Still kind of is, I guess. 
Skarmory, we gotta switch. We gotta go into Big Boy. Wait, we could have went into Havoc or Bright. Well, whatever, we're here. We're here and we're now. Not much we can do about that. Not too much we can do about that. Get out of here, friend boy. Sturdy, never mind. You're here to stay for a, lot, a little bit longer. I think we'll hit you up with that fang. And there it is. Loudred, I think we're fine to go ahead and switch. I don't know what to what. Hate to keep using the same mons over and over again, but they're honestly the best we have. <laughs> Wolf and Azula are the big boys, even though they're female. They're the big girls. <gasps> it's Amp! How dare you. See ya, never. Except for probably later. We author Mia. I think next episode I'm gonna look up where that move deleter is. Hopefully it's in a town we've already been to, so I can just hop, skip, and jump right over, get rid of cut, teach uh, Snorlax something better. I'd love to use him more. It's just he has cut, <laughs> and I feel like I need a lick. X attack on your vile plume. That's interesting. You gonna hit me with a uh, freaking solar blade or whatever? It's done, Spore. Don't do that to me. We'll slam. You know, get get some PP usage out of other other moves. Hopefully, there's somebody inside of this building that can heal us. That'd be fantastic. Neptune's catching up nicely. We're gonna put Bright up now. What is this? The Nature... Seasons Research Lab. If you could give me a Deerling token, that'd be fantastic. Or an item of some sorts. Okay. Catch a deerling. I don't have a deerling, I can't catch a deerling. I was hoping you would give me one for a token. <laughs> well, that's fine. Let's pick up whatever this is and be on our way. Hardstone, fantastic. I can use that on my rock type I don't have. Oh, no, nope. We gotta go in here. Now, is, can we use this as our encounter? Absolutely goddamn not. We are Fire Nation, we are not Air Nomads. We'll be on our way. Okay, that's another encounter. Would it be Butterfree? Can't use that because we're not air, nona air, air Nomads. Air Nomads, because that thing's just pure air, uh, if I remember correctly. Okay, yeah, we just want to keep on encountering things that we can't use. And that's wonderful. Go on ahead. Oh, that's because we have freaking... We have freaking... Doodad up front, and she has he has Illuminate. We're not leading with Bright ever. <laughs> Hopefully we will stop. Yeah, there it is. That was easy. 
I hope ability capsules in this game. I have a feeling it's not. I'm gonna do that research right now as we battle this girl. Entrepreneur Max, piece of shit. Sends out Raiko. Okay. I take that back. <laughs> ability capsule. Introduced in Gen 6. Never mind. We're just stuck with Illuminate for the rest of our lives. This thing's a special attacker, so I think I'm just gonna put it to sleep. X speed, because Raikou needs more of that. Yo, if we could get to Raikou over encounter, that'd be great. I'm not sure if I'd rather have Entei, though. I mean, we have Pachirisu in the box, we have two electric types on the team. I'm th we have a Blaziken in the box as well. What we need is more dragons. More dragons and a dark type would be nice. We could really use a dark type. We don't have any of those. And we can't get any uh, part normal types. We can only get regular. Spark! Well, it is physical. But you're dead, so it doesn't matter. Does not matter in the slightest. Get out of here. Level 32, nice. Entrepreneur. I would totally put out Bright, but we already made that mistake once. Oh, this is a Fungus thing. So this is our static encounter. And it's an actual Fungus. Okay, so this is a... This is a token. I could have sworn that I switched this up to, uh, be random. Odd. I didn't want to click cut, I wanted to click... Sleep. Yawn. And it's dead, and that's our Fungus. Alright. Thanks. Thanks, Snorlax. Appreciate it. Really appreciate it. We don't need any more encounters, because, you know, our box is just brimming. Just brimming with Pokemon that can be used. Get out of here, Chinchou. I almost want to catch one of these as our encounter, just to see if we can get a better ability. Because Illuminate's really, really bad. Alright, run away. Run away! I really use that smoke ball we picked up, huh? Okay. Alright, we did it. Thank Christ. Alright. Super potion. Is this another one? No, it's a metal powder. So, if we run into a ditto... I don't plan on using it, ditto. Water, fun, tee hee, absolutely not, we're Fire Nation, fuck water. Actually has a water type, okay lady. Alright. That's the game we're playing, huh? It's cut. Mud shot, doesn't that lower my accuracy? And crits me too. Of course. My speed. Okay, that's better. I don't need an accuracy cut when cut uh, when cut already has like 95. I don't care about my speed stat. Protect you, piece of shit. Get out of here with that. Get out of here with that. Metal claw now. Now. Cut. Alright, that's that. Bye bye, Krabby. Lipard. Um, uh, I think Bray can take care of this thing. Lipard's generally frail, as far as I know. I don't have a lot of experience with this thing, besides that, it has Prankster and Sucker Punch and hates everybody. Water Gun's our play because we have our. Boosted item. 
No surf yet, unfortunately. Attack and accuracy go up. That's not good. Jesus Christ. Okay. We need surf. Water gun, of course. And I'm scared of what this thing might do. Torment, are you serious? You could have used like Sucker Punch at any time and you did you didn't you didn't do that. I'm confused. Confused. And there's a mon. A Sun Flora. Look what we can't use. A Sun Flora. And Big Boy's not gonna be able to run away because he's slow as shit. No, oh, never mind, we're good. I think that's a fungus. You gonna heal us? Nope. This guy has something to do with the legendaries. Strelton Cave, find an amazing Pokemon called Cobalion. If you use Surf, maybe you can see Cobalion. So, once we get Surf from uh, freaking Twist Mountain, I think we might come back here. Aw, oh, sweet. We got a healer. We've got a healer. And what are you doing? I have this. A shiny stone. Oh. My girlfriend needs that for her Togekiss. Which I swear you could find a shiny stone in Heart Gold Soul Silver. Just naturally. Cause I, I swear I had a Togekiss in my playthrough. Dusk Noir. Okay. Or Noir. Dusk Noir. I don't know, I like Noir better. Couldn't get away, that's no. Well. Didn't affect me. That would be really cool, because I don't see that anywhere, ever. That would be really cool. I'll take a Heatran. This is our encounter, because it's a fire type. Holy shit. I'm going to use Cut first. Ancient Power. Please don't get the boosts. This is a steel type, why am I using cut? Nope, I wanted that. I would totally go out to Azula to use um, Dragon Rage on it, but I think we're going to save that for Neptune because Neptune doesn't die to ancient power because of four times effectiveness. Might just die because, uh, you know, bad stats. Leer that does not affect our an the ancient power usage, so that's good. Dragon Rage, of course. I don't want that thing taking anymore. So... We are gonna go back out into... Big Boy. Proceed to use Cut. Stop doing that, please. God damn it. I'm gonna use cut, gonna use yawn, and then go with go for balls. Cut please. Metal sound, doesn't that lower our defense by like two? Special, gotcha. I think I'm looking at it. Cut him one more time. That really sucks because Ancient Power is special. We might have to use a potion or something. Nope. We're good. I would totally cut one more time, but I think we're just gonna yawn him. Fire Fang. We're fine. Because we have thick fat. Beatran grew drowsy. We are just going to. Yeah, we're gonna moo moo milk up. Use that milk drink. I 
Ancient Power, I think that's his last one. Sleepy Boy. Now is our chance. What do we even have? I keep forgetting about the freaking Quick Ball. That we have those. Ultra Ball this boy. Come here, Heatran. Oh no. Don't you wake up either. Don't you wake up. Alright, we got this. Ultra Ball number two. Oh, number two. One. Two. Three. You bitch. You piece of shit. That was... That was as good as cut. Alright, maybe this one. Maybe this one will do it. One, two, three. Sweet! Got a Heatran! Oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. I'm happy. That's a big ass ground weakness, but you know what? We're okay. Its body is made of rugged steel, however, it's partially melted in spots because of its own heat. Huh. Alright, nickname for Heatran. It is a male Heatran. I. Oh, yeah, this thing actually has a. It actually has a gender. Um, if you might remember from my very failed attempt to do a Pokemon Uranium randomizer, because that play that thing is freaking trash at randomizing. Don't, or yeah, don't do that. You might remember that I nicknamed the uh, the Heatran the other Heatran type Hephaestus. Because of the steelwork stuff. I just need to look up the name and see if I spelled it right. I believe I did. And because this thing's ugly. I did spell it right. Alright, so we have Hephaestus the Heatran. That is awesome. Um, we might be able to get our Chargestone Cave encounter here too. I'm up for it. I'm up for it. That might be the last thing we do. Let's do the stuff. Thanks for waiting. Looks like the nest of an electric type Pokemon called Galvantula. Don't know why there's a nest here, but if there's folks having problems, the gym leader's the one that gotta fix it. Crocker Rock, take it out! He didn't have a Crocker Rock. And this here's your t this here TM's yours. It's my favorite TM, so you can teach it to all of your Pokemon. You like telekinesis, huh, buddy? It's called Bulldoze. This move does damage and lowers the speed of any Pokemon it hits. Some ground type Pokemon move a little slower than you'd like. If you use Bulldoze right, you can cover that weakness. I don't know how good you really are, but if you think you can go, go wherever, and you think you can do something, keep doing it. Do things how you want. Decide your own limits. Very wise. Very wise. Charge Stone Cave. We're gonna try to get our encounter and not take any more steps forward. Because I'm not trying to deal with N right now. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Ferro Seed. Can't use it. Because that is not in our... That's not in our... Elements. Not like that Ferro Thorn we tried to use that last time. Moltres is usable. That's our encounter. Jesus. <laughs> Legendary fire types. Okay. I'm gonna go Azula here because this thing shouldn't get ancient power. If it did, I'm sure I would see it see sets of it. 
Ember, okay. I need to remember what Steven named his Moltres. I don't remember. Because he had a Moltres in our, uh... He had a Moltres in our freaking Sapphire, Ruby, Soul Link, Majigger. Fire Spin, that's not good. We can't switch out. But at the same time, that's just fine, because that gives us more time to use the balls. Jesus. That's about as much as I'm going to get. We'll get into Snorlax as soon as we can. Until then. Ooh, let's throw Great Balls. I mean, we have almost 40 of those bitches. I'm not going to waste our Ultra Balls right now. One. And that's the... Yep. So as soon as our fire spin runs out, we're going to go out to our Snorlax and do what we need to there. Throw in this Great Ball. This would be a perfect Azula um, replacement, suppose, that ever happens. I hope it doesn't. Of course, you never want your Pokemon to die, but, you know, thinking realistically. Speaking of realistically, it's time to heal. I think a super potion will do just the trick. Alright, almost up to full. We'll stay that way as long as he doesn't crit us a bunch. Free us from fire spin? Nope. Alright. It's great ball time, because those things are pretty freaking great. You need to see how great these things are, Mold Trays. I think they're they're gonna be just to your liking. Come on. Oh my god. Please. Oh! See, you just, you just gotta tell the Pokemon just how great it is. I think he named it Fox after the the Phoenix. One of the legendary bird Pokemon. It's said that its appearance in indicates the coming of spring. Interesting. The coming of spring. Hmm. Could name this thing Springtime. Could name this thing... What's the first day of spring? Isn't it like May something? First day of spring. I feel like it's May. Wednesday, March 20th. Okay. Well, spring comes on a Wednesday, so that's this thing's name. Great, I think. Ooh, can name this thing Equinox. I like that. Because if it's a marching or announcing the coming of spring. There we go. And looking at the time, I think that's all we're going to have time for this episode. We did a whole lot, so, I mean, it's pretty cool. Um, hopefully we won't run into anything else, but... If you guys liked this video, go ahead and leave that like. Really, really appreciate it. Subscribe if you have not already and want to do so. Tickle that bell so you can pay attention to all the YouTube happenstances that I get myself into. And with all of that being said, and more or less, depending on your perspective, this has been your boy, Snowy Kurama. See you in the next video. Goodbye.